Hello everyone, everything good? 5000 years ago, great sages realized that the world was turning into chaos. People were more quarrelsome, animals being killed for no reason. The planet was looking like a big desert. They had no idea what the reason would be. The reason could be the dreaded age of Kali Yuga, in which the lifespan of all beings would shorten and all evil qualities would prosper. These sages walked for days and days looking for a solution or someone who could explain what was really happening. It was then that they reached a famous forest called Naim Mikaranya and there they found hundreds of people who were also in that same condition. But among all those elders there was one person who stood out. And he was totally calm. The sages began to ask each other who was that great personality. Why was he so calm? Until someone there in the assembly replied, Ah this is the great sage Sudha Goswami. He is said to have been a disciple of another great personality named Shukadeva Goswami. They even say that this Shuka spoke a very special knowledge to a king who was dying. This king was only a week old and Master Shuka spoke all the knowledge when he was only 16 years old to this king. It was then that the oldest sage named Shanauka approached Suda and said the following. I noticed that you are completely calm here in this meeting of sages and I believe that you have real knowledge about what could make us really satisfied. I want to be your listener. Please tell me what is right for us and what is wrong with the world. You know that there are so many duties in this world that we have to follow, but which one is the best? Heard that there are many stories about avatars that came to this land, could you tell me something about that? We heard that simply listening to these stories is much better than taking a bath in the Ganges River, which in itself is purifying, is this true? After listening to so many questions, the wise man sat down calmly and said, your questions are very pertinent and I can already say that by listening to these stories, lifetime, happiness becomes something very easy to get. If possible, I will tell each of the stories throughout my narrative and I will clarify all your questions as best I can. So he kept telling the stories and that's how a book called Srimad Bhagavatam came out. But that's for the next video. A big hug to all and namaste.